Maggie Lukowski from Maggie Moon Tarot, and here are the vibes for the week. Welcome November. It quietly snuck upon us. Now is the time that we feel the glow within. Our fireplaces are warming us, and it's a time of slowing down and enjoying hearty soups and the smell of bread baking in the oven. Best of the goddess of the hearth brings us her beauty and creativity into our lives and tells us to go within. We have a full moon on Thursday in Taurus. Taurus rules the, thro rules the throat, so it's a good time for any communications that needs to be resolved. The energy is also about sensual pleasures, so it's a great time to let our hair down and get in touch with all of our senses, to enjoy the things that we can feel, taste, and touch. A great date night out, too, to a good restaurant, or cooking up some magic in our own kitchen. It's also a time to release anything that might be blocking new opportunities from coming in. We can put our crystals or stones out under the full moon for cleansing or any water that we want to give that extra boost of the beautiful Taurus full moon vibes. And for the reading this week, I'm using Lisa Hunt's hauntingly beautiful Ghosts and Spirits Tarot. I love Lisa's art and have read with her beautiful fairy tale Tarot in my weekly readings before. This deck is perfect for the season as we welcome in November and as we start out celebrating the Day of the Dead, which coincides with All Souls Day and All Saints Day. I was immediately drawn to the Ten of Cups and wanted to start the reading. And traditionally, the Ten of Cups is about a happy family. And in Lisa's deck, the Ten of Cups shows the Day of the Dead celebration, and it's celebrated around the world. And to me, it talks of our spiritual family. People wear masks, set off fireworks, uh, create beautiful decorations um, to honor the dead. And we also have altars in our home in memory of our loved ones that have passed. And this is a time when the veil is thin. So the message from spirit and our loved ones is to enjoy each day, each moment, being here on this earth, which is not only a beautiful spiritual experience, but it's a delicious physical experience as well. And they tell us that we are loved beyond measure and we never walk alone. And in Lisa's companion book, she talks about the three skeletons, looking in the different directions, past, present, and future, and reminds us of the cycle of life. And the card that came up for the middle of the week is temperance. And that's key card 14 in the tarot. And it's a swan maiden in this deck. And the story around the swan maiden is they have the ability to shapeshift into human form, shedding their feathers. And men would take their feathers and capture the maidens. And when the maidens would find their feather garments, they would change back into a swan and join their family. And this swan maiden is coming up from the depths, touching the moss on the ground. She represents the unconscious and primal instincts. So, to shed the ego and be in balance, we may be deep diving into the waters of our unconscious, becoming aware of what has been submerged and bringing it up into the light and blending it with the earth. So, midweek, we may ask ourselves, um, is our life in balance? We might do some deep diving and reflection on where changes can be made that are in alignment with our goals and our heart's desire. And as life changes, so do we. And at the end of the week, the Six of Cups, uh, Pentacles came up, and which is about giving and receiving. And Lisa has drawn Tornak, the animal spirit guardian, which can appear in many forms, humans, stones, or a bear. And in her companion book, Lisa talks about the Eskimo shaman who would be the go-between between the Eskimo people and Toynak. And during the sessions or ceremonial exchanges, the shaman could procure advice, medicine, seek atonement, and prevent misfortune. All the earth energies come together in centrums of abundance. And the bear represents protection and the cycle of life. And the fish, they're symbols of fertility and radiance, and the stars represent the expansiveness, and feathers indicate connection with spirit. So, 
let's look around and see what symbols and signs the universe is showing us and opportunities for us to give and receive. And who is our animal spirit and oh guardian and what advice or messages are they giving us? And we can end the week with gratitude for all that we have, all that we receive, all that we give. Gratitude opens up the door for grace and abundance to come in. And so we may think of someone in our lives that we are grateful for, and we can show our gratitude. It will open up our heart and bring our vibration up so we are radiant beating beings of light and love. And it can be felt throughout the planet. So this week, it's about remembering those we love that have made their transition and finding that place of balance in our lives and connecting with our animal guides and all the opportunities that we have to give and receive. And that, my friends, are the vibes for the week. If you've enjoyed this video, I invite you to click on the like and subscribe button and share with your friends. I have included a transcript of the reading along with a link to Lisa Hunt's art and Ghost and Spirits Tarot and my website, maggiemoontarot.com, in case you'd like to contact me or schedule a reading. So until we meet again next week, believe in miracles, laugh often, love much, create your own happiness, be kind, support each other. Namaste.